Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you turn your attention to the left, we have our typhoon running in for his display. You probably won't hear much from me because it makes a hell of a lot of noise. An air superiority fighter has to be manoeuvrable and agile, and I think that's precisely what we've got here. I've just been asked by the flight and display director how much thrust, and I think I'm correct in saying about 40,000 pounds. Is that correct? That's correct, 20,000 pounds each for those engines. And that's the Typhoon pilot talking there. Easy to fly, Ryan? Definitely. I'll ask him again. Yeah, this jet's a real pleasure to fly. It's um, what we call carefree handling, so as a pilot, every time we move the control column, it's giving us the absolute maximum that the jet can give us. So as a jet, it's a real pleasure to fly. It's a great joy. Oh, it's all gone quiet. No, it hasn't. So at this altitude, uh, the engine's in max rate. He is using about 600 kilograms of fuel a minute. So that's about a Mini Cooper being put out the back end every minute. Uh, the display lasts about eight minutes, and that's because that's uh, the limit of the fuel we can use. Of course, it isn't just a display aircraft. It's a fighting machine. Can engage multiple targets in the air-to-air -air role. should say something about the pilot, got his wings in 2004, became what's known as a creamed off QFI on the Hawk, followed by Harriers, followed by Typhoon, and now he's an instructor on Typhoons. Mark puts his landing gear down now for the uh, loaded barrel roll with his gear down. Just goes to show how much uh, thrust to weight this aircraft's got. He'll transition from the uh, slow speed pass with the gear down, plug the reheat in and climb ahead for a half horizontal. So as you stand here, Ryan, are you in the frame for next year's Typhoon display pilot? Yeah, if you could tell everyone here, Ed, that'd be great, you know. I'll do just that. Yeah, if you are enjoying this, folks, do come and join us tomorrow afternoon when Mark is going to be doing the display again, along with plenty of other exciting events. Uh, flying cracks off at 11 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mark's final pass. As he comes past, please do give him a wave. He can see you at the cockpit. Mark pitches up now for his final uh, move. 
the vertical departure. That looks like perfect timing.